Hello, I'm Gabriel Peretti from Zero Res Carpet and Living Surfaces Care in Los Angeles, California, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to get bad stains from carpets. What is a bad stain? It could be anything. A bad stain could be grease, pet urine, uh, chocolate, chalk, um, coffee. Uh, so the key thing to remove a bad stain first is to determine what is that stain made out of, what caused that stain. Um, a lot of times you're going to have a bad stain that you have no clue where it came from. So we're going to give you a few tips on how to deal with that um, in a gentle way. Uh, if we knew that it was a pet stain, then we know exactly what we need to do. If it was grease, we also know. But when we don't know what it is, we have to start with something that is not going to cause any more damage. And so we need to do a basic um, spotting uh, technique. Uh, and hope that that works. And if it doesn't, then we need to determine really what it was so that we can apply the proper technique to that uh, particular stain. Certain products like our uh, Zero Res uh, Spotting Solution is designed not to leave any residue. So this is one of the products that you don't necessarily need to rinse out. If you can't find something like this, then you're going to be using uh, regular detergents. Most likely you're going to have to rinse them out. Uh, if you don't have any carpet spotter in your house, then you can make one very easily by mixing in a cup a little bit of uh, water and uh, laundry detergent. And I want to make sure that you use laundry detergent, not this washing, because this washing is meant for dishes, not for textiles. So you have to use laundry detergent. And in a cup like this, you can probably put you know, just the tip of a teaspoon, just a little bit so that you create a little bit of an emulsifying solution. And once you apply it to the water, you, you mix it really well. And now you have a very good spotting solution for carpets. First thing in spotting is to first remove all the dry residue. Whatever is dry, you want to remove it in dry state. You don't want to re-wet it because then you make it go deeper into the fibers. So uh, you're going to uh, vacuum it. You're going to break it off if, it, if you can break it off. And you're going to continue to va vacuum as much as possible. Once there is nothing solid that you can remove, now you can start applying the techniques. So uh, again, a spotter like ours, we will apply it to the spot. To the spot and then we would use a towel to just blot it dry. And that would be the end of that. But if, we, if it's a very bad stain, or you don't have anything like that, and you need to use a regular carpet spotter, or you mix your own, um, basically what I want you to try first is to grab a towel, wet it on the solution that you just made, or the regular spotted. You just put it on the, carp on the uh, towel. And with that wet section of the towel, you're going to work on the spot from the outer edge towards the center, because you don't want to spread it. You don't want to make it bigger. Now, if that doesn't do it, and you need to be more aggressive, because again, this is a bad spot, we may need to apply the product to the, to the spot itself. So when we do that, we're going to put it on. We're going to mix it in. And then we're going to grab, again, a towel. We're going to blow it dry and see what the result is. If we have achieved what we're looking for, which is the removal of the stain, then we're going to need to rinse that out. And to rinse that out, we're going to need to use water and our wet and dry vacuum. And basically, right now, all we need to do is just rinse it with the water and the vacuum. And we should probably repeat this process three, four times until you don't see any more suds coming out of the carpet fibers. One extra step, and that is if you grab a towel and you fold it a few times to make it thick, you set it on the area that you worked on, and then you put a, something heavy on, like a phone book. You leave it there about 24 hours. And the whole idea of having this here is that any moisture and residue that might uh, remain there, as it wakes up during the drying process, the water will go up the fibers to the tips, it will continue to wick into the towel. And if there is any residue, it will be absorbed by the towel. You won't have it at the tips of the fiber, creating a, a spot that reappears on you. So this is something very important to have it there for at least 24 hours. And that should help you remove some of those bad stains. Again, if you're not successful, make sure you call a professional. Uh, there are certain stains that you won't be able to get out, and you will need somebody that's trained to do it. I'm Gabriel Peretti from Zero Risk Carpet and Living Surfaces Care in Los Angeles, California, and I have shown you how to clean bad stains from carpet.